Sometimes the camera may cannot get the correct IP address from your router. In this case, you will be unable to view the camera. The software can discover the camera, but you will see it's always so offline. Let's see the example. We click search. Now the second camera we want to add to the software. So we have the, the software has discovered this camera and also you see the IP address. But finally it shows offline. The reason is you can see the correct IP subnet in our name in our place is 1.3, 1.1. But now the subnet is just 20. So it's not correct. Here we can see the IP setting. You can use an auto get address or manual change IP address. So now let's go to how easy way. Maybe just try auto get. See, they just change IP address to match the sub subnet. If you click modify, now the IP has go back to the correct IP subnet. Then. Just a few seconds later, it becomes connected. Otherwise, you also can click the fresh. So, if the auto guess still not working, you may just manually change. So, how do I know the subnet setting in my in my network? Here, we can click the search. We type in CD, CMD. Then we click empty. This is the control of your Windows 10. Here we click IP config hash and all. This command is going to show the IP setting of your computer actually just from your network. So here we can see the default gateway is 1.1 .1 and the address for this computer is dot sixteen and this is subnet. This three information is we need. To input to the to the camera, just remember the IP address has to be different from your computer. Otherwise, the, you create IP address conflict. Or you can just using the auto get address. That's the simple way. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching.